Hello, I'm Mathy and welcome to a new tutorial. Today we'll make those 80 pages mini notebooks with an embroidery and bookbinding technique and including a bookmark. Share this video, post a like and subscribe to my channel. Contacta conmigo por WhatsApp y entérate antes que nadie de los próximos video premios. For making one notebook, you need some pattern paper, 10 recycled sheets. You also need a cutter, a ruler, some thick felt or a piece of cloth. a punch or a needle, a folding tool or you can use the ruler, some clips and also some embroidering thread or the one you use for making crochet, a needle that punches and has a big hole. Start cutting the paper sheets into strips 14 by 21 cm each. So make marks with your pencil at 14 and 28 cm up and down to each sheet. Then cut the paper joining both marks. At the end, you'll obtain these three strips, so you'll use the biggest strips for making the pages of your notebook. Now, make two groups of 10 sheets each one. Fold into both groups and use the folding tool to well fold each group. You have to obtain two very flattened groups of paper for making the filling of the notebook. At the end, you'll obtain these two groups of paper that will be the filling of your notebook. Look how well are they! For making the cover, I'm gonna use this cute pattern paper that is decorated on both sides. This way, your book will be decorated outside and inside. Make marks at 14 and 28 cm to obtain two strips 14 by 30 cm each. You'll obtain two strips 14 by 30 cm. And with each strip, you'll be able to make one notebook. So I'll make one using the little bird's paper and another with a flowered one. As I want the birds on the outside, I'll turn the paper and make a first mark at 11 cm up and down. Make another mark at 11.5 cm up and down. Join both first marks with a ruler and fold the paper. Then use your folding tool to well fold the paper. Repeat for the marks at 11 and a half. If you have a scoreboard, you just need to score at 11 and then at 11 and a half and then fold the paper. If you like this video, click right now on the subscribe button for more cool videos like this one. This way, the notebook spine is ready. I want to show you how it looks right now. The sheets go inside 
And look that we have it almost ready. Let's do the hole for sewing. So make marks with your pencil at the spine of one of the group of paper. Make marks at one, one and a half and two centimeters, at three, three and a half and four, then at five, five and a half and six, then at eight, eight and a half and nine, then at ten, ten and a half and eleven, and then at twelve, twelve and a half and thirteen centimeters. Join both paper groups and transfer the marks from one group to the other. Take one group and fix it with a clip so the papers can't move while punching them. Now that the papers can move, start punching on the marks. Repeat with the other paper group. Now repeat on the cover spine. So now make the same marks on the spine, making the marks on both sides of the spine. As you can see, I'm putting the marks at one, one and a half and two centimeters. I also put the marks on top of the spine. Do the same for all the marks we made on the sheets. Then punch on each mark. Let's start sewing the books. So measure five times the long of your book. Then double the thread. Now thread the needle and make a knot at the end of both ends. Start sewing the papers. So take the first group, enter your fingers inside and insert the needle through the second hole. Remove the needle from the back or middle. And you'll see the knot on the spine. And then insert the needle through the first hole, then remove it from the spine. While stretching the thread, you'll see that you have a stitch inside and the knot and the thread on the outside. Now insert the needle through the first hole of the spine. Then remove it from the back. While adjusting, you'll join the papers and the cover. Then insert the needle through the opposite hole, making an X. Then remove the needle from the other side. We are making the first line of the X. Fix it for joining everything. And on the back, you have the first part of the X. Take next paper group, enter your fingers inside, and insert the needle through the second hole. Insert the needle, remove it from the middle, 
and stretch the thread. While adjusting the thread, you'll be joining all the pieces. Now insert the needle through the first hole, pass it through the pages, and also pass the needle through the first cover hole. Remove the needle from the other side and stretch the thread. On the inside you have a stitch and on the outside you'll insert the needle through the opposite hole to make an X. So insert the needle through this hole and don't remove it through the first paper group but through the second. Then insert the needle through the hole where it is the knot. So insert the needle and remove it on the other side. Stretch the yarn. It doesn't matter that the pages and cover move too much because they are still not sewn. On the spine you have the X done. On the first group you have a stitch and on the second you also have a stitch. Now insert the needle through the next hole on the second paper group. Pass the needle also on the cover through next hole and remove it from the spine. Pass the needle, stretch the thread. You'll have two stitches on the inside and on the outside you'll do another X. So insert the needle on the hole diagonal and remove it from the next hole next to the stitch. Make it pass through the cover, then through the pages and then you have the needle here. So stretch the thread. And now insert the needle through next hole. So pass the needle through the paper. Pass the needle through next cover hole. And remove the needle. Stretch the thread and inside you'll have the stitches. Now insert the needle through the opposite diagonal hole to make the cross and remove the needle from the second paper group. Remove the needle and insert it through the paper sheets. Pass through the hole that has the knot. Then remove it from the middle of the stitches. Insert the needle making an X and remove it through the first group. Stretch the thread and insert it again through the previous hole. Remove the needle from the spine, stretch the thread and insert it again through the opposite hole. And the needle will go out and go to the second group. So pass it through next hole and remove it inside of that paper group. Now you can see the first cross of this group. Now insert the needle through next hole and remove it from the paper first and then through the cover spine through this hole.
stretch the thread and insert the needle through this hole. You have here a small stitch and on this spine you have the thread for making next cross. Let's make another cross. So insert the needle through the opposite hole, remove from the first group of paper, stretch the thread, and now let's make the other small stitch. Go out through this hole here, stretch the thread, and complete the cross by passing the needle through the opposite hole on the spine. This stitch here will send you to the second group. Insert the needle through the spine hole, then through the one on the papers, remove the needle, stretch the thread, and on the spine you have two crosses. I want to show you how it looks inside. In this yellow area you have two whole rows. Each time you need to pass the needle through the right holes, they will match with the lower group of paper. And each time you need to pass through the left holes, they will match with the upper. Continue sewing the same way, the sheets and the cover, taking care of making lines on the inside and cross-stitching on the outside. When arriving at the end, sew the last stitch as the others. Now make the last stitch, insert the needle and remove it from the lower paper group. Pass the needle through this hole Stretch the thread and you have finished. We have all the crosses done on the spine and on the inside you just need to make a knot. Pass the needle through the last stitch and fix a knot. Now pass the needle through this last hole, remove it on the middle, stretch the thread and cut it. This way your thread will be hidden. The notebook is almost ready. We open the cover the pages are sewn. In the middle you have the stitching of the first paper group. Then you have more pages well sewn. Then there is the middle. Then the pages of the second group and its stitching. And then the rest of the pages. At the end there is the back cover with the bookmark. Now we'll make the bookmark. So put the ruler there where the pages go and fold this flap. Fold the paper and then finish with the folding tool. Then measure a half centimeter beyond and fold again the paper. 
Use again the folding tool to well fold the bookmark. So now you have a bookmark ready. You can open your book, put the bookmark where you want, on any position you need and it will be great. I have made other notebooks with different papers, different colors, all of them has been made the same way. All of them has a nice bookmark and all the threads coordinate with the pattern paper. And now we are going to decorate them to make them special. Look how cute! I'm so happy with my notebooks. For decorating the books, I made some labels using coordinating cardstock colors where I'll write the topic of each book. I'll also put some flowers and butterflies to make it nicer. An additional touch will be to draw some stitching using a brown marker. I'll also draw some stitching on the back, on the bookmark and on the spine. I'll add some stitching on the spine between the real stitching. Also, add some stitching on the bookmark for decorating all the notebook. Look how cute that are the notebooks. They are completely embroidered and they look so nice and perfect with the thread stitching. Remember that these notebooks have 80 pages, so you have lots to write down. Look at the yellow version, the blue one, and look at the pink. They're really cute and I'm so happy with them. I hope you like this project. Mark us favorite and post a like. Subscribe to our channel. Follow us on networks, share with your friends and click the following images to watch more videos. See you soon. Bye!